Hi lovelies, how are you? I hope you're doing good, amazing and very much fun. On my channel, you can see that I have filmed a couple of very um, high-end and extremely premium luxury brands on my channel. So I thought this is the time to switch from luxury to the drugstore. This is something which is very pocket-friendly and that is readily available. And you can easily create something really amazing and glamorous with your drugstore makeup. You don't need to go for the very high-end and expensive brands. You might gonna find something really amazing. I'm gonna discuss something really amazing and affordable products. Like so I hope you will enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe, like and you can comment. So I'm going to start with my corrector which is from NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Orange. Now for the primer, I'm going to use the Ordinary High Adherent Silicone Primer. This is the one which I really prefer during the winter time. To be honest, it does not even um, works good to minimize the pores. I can still see my pores, but it just helps to you know smooth my skin. And I really feel that it does really, really help. The foundation I'm actually going to use, uh, this is the... Catrice High, High what? This is the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation up to 24 hours, but it's very light. I've already swatched it and this is very light. So this is the shade Sand Beige in 030. It's, it's like very liquidy, can you see? Mm. And it smells like a baby powder. I'm gonna use my brush and then I'm gonna use my sponge. Look at the color. Look at the color. Oh my god. Let me blend this and I'll be back. I think now I'm looking less ghostly than before. Okay. It's not so full coverage. I mean, I can see. My problem starts when a foundation starts collecting around the dry patches. That is my biggest pet peeve. So, otherwise, skin looks good. So, I picked up this loose powder from Lottie London, Ready Set Go, in the shade Warm Translucent. I basically deliberately I picked this powder just because you know I'm so bad with the shade matching. So, if mm, my foundation is a little lighter, so I use this compact in order to set my face with. That's why I picked this one out. It's a very good powder, and I already used it. Now to hide these dark patches, I'm gonna use the Catrice Camouflage Concealer. I've used this concealer before. This is like a regular for applicator. The shade which I picked up is is what? Light Beige 20. I'm gonna do my eye makeup and then I'm gonna use more concealer before that let me take the same concealer to put on my eyelids i love this brush this one is from elf beautiful it's an amazing brush by elf it's a flawless concealer brush yes i literally have backups of this brush okay concealed i think there are okay now I'm going to do my eyebrows. So the product which I'm going to use today, I trust you, you know how much I love this one. This one is from Catrice. I love this. Oh my God. I've covered a product from Catrice, by the way. What is, uh, oh God. Okay. I love this powder. It is such a due for the benefit. Eyebrow powders, they have, I mean, this is beautiful. What I mean, beautiful, I love powders more than pomades because I think, uh, because I don't trim my eyebrows, so this looks very natural. So I have done my eyebrows. I have done a little bit of, you know, put some concealer just to shape out my eyebrows. Now it's time for the eyes. I'm so excited for Revolution X Sof Extra Spice. This is the one. This is the drugstore one. It's a very good palette. You can see the color story is really nice. 
like mossy colors, a little bit like a little the names. Can you see the names? Now, everything is just making me even hungry after reading these names. Basically, it has a huge mirror. The first thing I'm gonna do is to take cookie dough. Now, now I'm gonna take the shade chocolate orange. Let's see. Oops, that's nice. You can see, guys, that's lovely color. Mm. So the same brush that I've used before. Oh, no. Blend the edges. Oh wow, it just blend beautifully. You can tell just blend you isn't it good okay i'm gonna add the shade lakes i don't know what i'm doing but let's see i'm sure i'm gonna do something so on a denser brush like this i'm gonna take the shade lake it's like a mossy green shade you know mossy is gonna give me any oh yes nice shade Going back with that shade brush to blend the edges. For my inner corner, what should I go for? I think I should go for the shade. It's called I don't know how to explain. It's like a topi shade. It's called everyday. It's like silverish but at the same time the hint of lilac he touched to it i really don't want to go for the cut crease this time wow that's nice okay i'm gonna take the shade called infinity which is kind of silver shade so just live not too much because Whatever is left, I'm gonna add that on here. I can see the shade, this shade. Just called LA Sun, which is such a beautiful gold shade. So just a hint of it, I'm gonna use I'm gonna diffuse it a little bit here and then I'm gonna blend. For the liner, uh, I'm gonna take this Morphe liner in the shade Stargate. I'm gonna take this Smashbox eyebrow liner brush. So now I'm gonna go with another layer just to, you know, to brighten up. So on this smudger brush, this one is from e.l.f. smudger brush, I'm going to take the shade 21. A top brush, this is my favorite to use, you know, very close to my eyelids. So I'm going to take the same shade 21 and just go a little bit. So now for the mascara, I really like this one. This is the Kiko Milano Standout Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. I think I need a new tube for it. Uh, so I'm just running low. Uh, okay, for the lashes, I will use my Ardo Wispies and I will back. back with my lashes. I think it didn't take that much time. So I really enjoy this cool tone smoky look because I don't really contour that much uh, but this time I thought I should give it a go so uh, collection kindly gifted me this this is the their contour stick I have the shade 01 it's a lighter shade it's like a very matte uh, I don't want to show you it's like a very cool toned matte I don't think so it's gonna be good for my skin color I will 
Today I thought I will give it a go. But I am looking for, you know, kind of nose contour. I don't know for some reason. I really fancy it. I don't know if it's from some reason. So now I'm gonna do my thick nose contour. Let me know if you think this nose contour works for me or is this a failure? I don't know. How much is I think I should go like this? This is the lightest one, this is the zero one because I knew if I'm gonna go with the darker one, I'm gonna mess it because I have never done this. I think, what do you think? Do you like it? So guys, now it's time for the um, blush. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this blush. This is the BH Floor Blush in the shade Caribbean floral. Caribbean floral is like two tones here. You can see pinkish and peach. Two shades are here. And I really like this one. It stays, but uh, I mean, my skin, I don't know for some reason, it just takes away all the brush, but this literally just stays put on me. Okay, I'm deliberately adding more blush. Just don't think there's too much because you will see. By the end of this video, my blush will be gone. Now for the highlighter, my favorite Dove Straw highlighter is um, uh, Wet n Wild Precious Petals. That's my Precious Petals. That is my favorite highlighter. But I have also tried the uh, Maybelline Chrome highlighter. This that one is really good. And then I have I've, I've tried a couple of uh, Revolutions one. The only one I'm actually holding on is this one. This is like a whole brick. I mean, I think it will, this one, this is the Revolution uh, shade in rose gold. So let me just use this highlighter. It just looks like the, it just melted in your skin. Can you see? It feels like it just melted. It does not feel like that something is sitting on your face. It just blends in, into this. So some, like my, um, other fluffier brushes don't pick up this one because it's like a baked one so you have to use something scratchy you have to scratch the top lid and then you can use that that will be amazing i have this brush i have no idea there's no any brand i have no idea where it's from so um but it is a little bit spiky i mean it's not so soft but it really works with these kind of brushes so i'm gonna take this whole lid like this and Oh my god, this is beautiful. I just has three shades. Like you can find three shades. You see, they have silver, and then they have uh, gold, and this is rose gold. Yes. And then on the tip of my nose, and somewhere here, like this. I stand for the lipstick. So, that uh, lipstick from the drug store, which I am really loving so far uh for me it's really hard because i'm very very fussy and picky about the makeup once i like, start liking something i just stick with it but this one is really good this one is from revolution pro range this is in the shade cashmere it looks like something like this it just look like a matte uh, with this eye look of course i will go with this oh beautiful to set my face i'm gonna i'm using this this is the garnier rose soothing glow mist that's when i'm using it a spray is so hard but the mist is look at that so good so this is my finished look you guys tell me do you like this look what is your favorite product in this entire video let me know your suggestion in the comments and uh, see you in my next video bye